So let's start with the nose, which you want to be more or less central on your paper. So we're going to start on the side of the nose and draw a kind of like an oblong shape. The heck is an oblong? It's a bit like a squashed circle. <laughs> Come round. <laughs> My line's all bumpy because of the surface we're leaning on. Same. Okay. By the way, just to let you know, guys, we are, in fact, we are lying on our kitchen floor. <laughs> we couldn't find a better, better place. Okay? For now, Don't it's judge the us. best place. Don't okay. judge us. We didn't have a camera stand. <laughs> so, and just above that, let's do a little curve for his snout. We're keeping it real over here. And it goes over the top of his nose and Ooh, down. That is cute. And now just to the top and to the right of that, we're going to start with this first line. Now, because this is like an actual teddy bear, we want to make it look almost like a teddy bear come to life. So he's not going to have pupils or anything. He's just going to have an eye. I'm going to draw a little circle in it, which will be light. And the rest of it, we're going to actually colour in black. Mm. So they're a little bit like, you know, sewn on eyes of a teddy bear. What we want mm. is to have the effect of a teddy bear that has kind of come to life and is all cute, you know. Because we all know that bears come to life. How are you getting on with that one? Nice big eye there, Eli. <laughs> it takes a long time to That's all right. You take your time colouring <laughs> that in. I'm going to move on to the other eye. So just same on the opposite side. Draw in that eye. I need to make mine a little bit bigger so it's even. A little circle for the light. And then shade in the rest of that eye. I think I keep on doing it too big. It, it doesn't matter, there are no mistakes in art, so nope. it just means your teddy's going to look different than my teddy, and that's good. Who wants, we don't all want to have the same teddies, do we? Well, to be honest, there's not any Oh, I, I actually like him having different size eyes, it's really cute. Yeah, there's, there's no <laughs> rules in art. There are no rules in art at all. So, when you finish with that eye, Eli, ready? Do whatever you want, guys. So, that's exactly right. So, from the bottom of the nose, we just do a little line coming down, give the effect that there's a little sewn on line there and just below that let's do a little cheek oh, little cute well, well i'm going for the smile <laughs> little cute smile going up you're gonna do a little cheek with first. some little lines on the side <laughs> love it that is so cute Beautiful. so just up above the eye let's do a little line for his eyebrow and another one mm. on the opposite side. Sorry, am I speeding off ahead a bit there, Eli? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, but guys, you can always pause. You can always pause the video, as Eli says, if we're going too fast for you. Just up above that left eyebrow, up a bit, we're going to go for his ear here. So Straight away. Oh. Exactly. Let's find a point just above the eyebrow. And we want to go up and around and around and around. Down. And basically, we're drawing a big C. Yeah. <laughs> like a... Uh, Further, see. That's you know so what? cute, Eli. And just coming out, we're going to do the top of his head. So just coming out from the top of that ear, we want to draw a line and curve it around the top. And then follow that along and around the other side. Down. Bring it all the way down, round past that other eyebrow, down the side oh, of his face. <laughs> I thought that's what we were about to connect. <laughs> no, we're not connecting it to the eyebrow. We're going round the eyebrow all the way down the other side of the face. Down, down, down under his mouth. I'll pause a second. I think I'm and then we go way too far. Follow, follow it round. You've gone way ahead of me, but that's okay. Follow it round. <laughs> up, up, up. And we join underneath My head here. Is giant. Mine's gone all wobbly, but I quite like it because the floor that we're drawing on is quite bumpy. My head I is quite massive. like it because it's a teddy bear. It gives it an almost bumpy effect. Yours is really cute, Eli. So just in the inside of that ear, let's draw like a little a little line that goes into kind of a circle and another little line. And it just gives the effect of like a little inside of an ear. Wow, that's beautiful, Eli. And then we're going to do the opposite ear. So opposite that ear. But this time it's kind of it has the effect of going slightly behind the head. I'm not really following the line I sketched earlier because I realised this ear is a I drew it a bit bigger than the other one, so I'm making it a bit smaller. And then let's just do those lines again for the inside of the ear in a little circle. That is so cute. Now, I like to do, coming from the middle of the top of his head, just a little line coming down, because it's almost like he's been sewn then. And you can actually do the same on his chin, a little line going up, and it looks like his head's been sewn together, which is so cute. 
I might make my eyebrows a bit thicker. I quite like them being like this. Mm. That looks pretty one. good. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I do them a little bit different. You can do them however you like. You can give him eyelashes. You can do whatever you want to make him your own. And I thought it'd be really cute to have a little heart Ooh, that's like that, so nice. It's like a little head. design. Yeah, you can put whatever you want on him. He's your teddy bear. You can put you a know bow what? on him. When we're done, I think I have a little idea for a detail. Two little details. Okay. Me. Right, so now we're going to do his body. I think it looks so cute to have the body a lot smaller than the head. I think this big head is what makes it's his like characters chimney. look really cute. Like a chimney. Exactly. So just down at the bottom of his his head to the left we're going to draw go the shape down a little bit that's it and around at the bottom we're going to go back oh, up oh, and oh. join it there exactly join it just there there we go and from there just above from just to the side of that so line his another hand. line for yeah his little arm because remember mm. they're like sewn on teddy arms so just Curve it round, join up with the body. His and hands the same are like behind on the him. Side. Yeah, they're like behind him, but they're also little sewn on teddy. I mean, you can do another little line like this. Yeah. For his hands. Like where his hands That's are. That's also very cute. And the same way we did on his chin, we can do these little lines at the top and bottom of his belly to make him look like he's all sewn together. <laughs> yeah? yeah? How are you getting on there? I like to do a nice round part. You know on what his I do? Tummy. Oh, I'll let I you do catch up. this a bit. Cute, I so it looks like this. properly sewn together. Now I'm going to have a round tummy on mine. Sometimes I like mm. to do a heart shape, but I think because he's got a heart on his head, I'm going to give him a round mm. belly. And now yeah. let's give him some legs. So just coming out from the middle, two lines for the inside of his legs, coming out from the bottom. And then let's start with this side. We come down. I'm actually going to use that little end of the sewn bit for a little... Oh, brilliant. Bring it round for his foot. I like them to have Ooh, really cute big feet. Oh, we're going to do feet. a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit here where we're going to do it a bit further than the line. So it's like he's at an angle. That's it, exactly. And I'm doing the same thing, but I'm having it so one foot kind of comes out. This foot kind of comes over the front of the other foot. And then it looks really cute. Bring it round and up back into the body. And there he has some feet. And in the yeah. same way that I did on the hands, I'm actually going to put some little lines like this to make it look a little bit like the bottom of his feet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple little toe lines. That is so cute, Eli. I think we're done. Mm. Nice, simple one today. It's actually pretty quick. Well done, Eli. Good work. Look at those two teddies and look how amazing it is that you can make them look completely different and unique and make mm -hmm. them all your own and they both look so adorable. I love it. I love this. Good work.